Hey, beautiful souls. How you doing? It's Ginny here. This is me post rant. I had a little bit of a Facebook rant today, but uh, I blasted some music. I danced it off a little bit. I had a soothing bath. I even lit some incense and some candles and I uh, had to really pull my shit in because the truth is that um, my instinct is for the mama bear in me to come out to protect other people from being taken advantage of. And this is a lesson not only for this lifetime, but I'm sure for many lifetimes for me to recognize that my role is not to protect anybody per se, but to be the facilitator, to hold sacred space while other people gather the tools and the confidence to protect and stand up for themselves. And so this was just a beautiful reminder, thank you universe, um, of what my role is. It's really to be a facilitator. And um, it really was an opportunity for me to reflect full circle on what my mission is. And my greater mission has always been to connect people back to their intuition. It's funny, I laugh at myself because for years, I used to call myself an intuitive teacher, a teacher of intuition, which is hysterical because your intuition is your birthright. You don't need anyone to teach it to you. But what I really stand for is being the facilitator to bring you back to your intuition, the trusting and the knowing of that still small voice or that feeling that you get. You know, that feeling when you meet someone where you either expand or you contract that gut knowing about a decision that you need to make just connecting us back to that because here's the truth um, I've I've spoken to so many of you uh, either online or privately about being connected to your intuition and so many of you in my tribe are there you are connected you listen to that voice but but perhaps there's a deeper question that we need to be asking ourselves it's are we trusting and then acting on our intuitive hits. It's one thing to receive the messages. It's quite another to trust them enough to take action on them. Because I know for myself, even just very recently in this past year, that I've received very clear intuitive hits. And I just, in my defiance, uh, refused to listen to them. I over decided to override them because on some other either ego-based needs or some um, he wounds that I needed to heal or, or, you know, fill in the blank. There's a million reasons why we don't listen to our intuition. Sometimes it just tells us things that we don't want to hear. And so we kind of go, eh, not listening, not listening, putting our fingers in our ear like it's like a small child. And so what I, what I really, the lesson today for me in my rant was really to reconnect for myself and also to support all of you in reconnecting to yourself and your intuitive voice so that we can all take care of ourselves and A, not be taken advantage of for sure, but also ensure that in every moment we are making decisions that come from the highest part of ourselves, from our higher wisdom, from the wisdom of the universe that we just tap into when we're able to get quiet and get still. And maybe that's got to be the next vlog because I think it's so difficult for so many of us, myself included, to really get quiet and still so that we connect to that small voice, that knowing, that feeling that is really there to guide us to our best decisions. Lots of you write me and tell me that you're at a crossroads and you need to make a major decision and you don't know what to do. And as I said in my rant earlier, my BS meter, it's really, really high people. So I'm going to call you out on your BS and myself because the truth is, I think in every moment, we know exactly what we need to do. We do know exactly what we need to do. If we get really quiet and we tap into that higher wisdom, we know what needs to be done. Maybe what we don't know is the very next step. Maybe we don't have the support system in place or we haven't asked for the help or maybe we don't have the confidence. Maybe there's fear blocking us. But at the end of the day, we really do know what needs to be done, what the right decision, next right best decision for us is. And so I think the very first step is allowing ourselves the clarity, the time, the space to get quiet and really connect into that and tap into that higher wisdom that is yours, that is there to serve you, that is really soaking in the energy all around you and re giving you messages and giving you the clarity that you need to make the next right best decision so that you can protect yourself, so that you can protect yourself, take care of yourself, and you don't need the mama bear, me, or anybody else 
to do it for you so that you can trust your inner voice. So that was the lesson of the day. Thanks for letting me rant. Thanks for letting me love on you. And I hope that you have a fabulous rest of your weekend. Bye for now.